Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to realclearpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'm your highly illustrious and everlasting President Ross. Today we are going to fill in the beautiful election map according to realclearpolling.com as my beautiful and perfect wife just got done saying. Let's fill it in. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, not Utaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes. Nevada, according to RealClearPolling.com, Nevada is Trump at a 0.7 lead over Kamala Harris, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, has Trump at a 1.5 lead over Kamala Harris, making Arizona and its 11 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is one click blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the big state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska AL2 at large red for Donald J. Trump in the menu. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes and Michigan with 15 electoral votes, according to RealClearPolling.com. In Wisconsin, Trump has a 0.2 lead, giving him the 10 electoral votes in Wisconsin, making it red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, Michigan is having Trump in the lead by 0.2, making Michigan red for Donald J. Trump. It's interesting to note, for the last three days, he's had a bigger lead in Michigan than 0.2. At one point, he had a 0.8 lead and a 1.1 lead in Michigan. So, the polls are being reanalyzed. They are asking more people their opinion in different parts of Michigan. That is why there is a sudden drop in support, or seemingly sudden drop in support for Donald J. Trump in Michigan and in Wisconsin. Let's carry on. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Iowa with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Coming up on the blue is Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hillbilly Eulogy. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, you're the only 10 I see with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, 
Georgia currently has Trump at a 2.2 lead, giving him the 16 sacred electoral votes, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. Something interesting about Georgia. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a massive lead in Georgia, but according to 338Canada.com, he has barely any support. It's anyone's guess, but I'm going to go more with RealClearPolling.com, who's his Rasmussen and two other sources for their polling averages according to their own polling that they do in these individual states every single day. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, North Carolina has Trump at a 0.8 lead over Kamala Harris, giving Trump the 16 electoral votes, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, Pennsylvania has Trump at a 0.6 lead after his Ronald McDonald stop at McDonald's, giving Pennsylvania's 19 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump. It is red. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine's 1st District is blue. ME01 is blue for Kamala Harris. The second district of Maine, ME02, is red for Donald J. Trump. Maine at large currently is blue for Kamala Harris, though. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. This gives Kamala Harris 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 312, making Donald J. Trump the winner of the Real Clear polling election as of right now. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Woo!